So what I'll be showing you today is our lift and shift tool, which takes all of your different airflow DAGs and migrates them onto Dagster as jobs, which will enable you to test locally, run the code locally, as well as deploy to our cloud serverless option in just a couple easy clicks. Okay, to start off with, I'm gonna show you a bunch of different airflow DAGs. So you'll see different schedules that we might have, um, a bunch of different DAGs, and you'll be able to do this process with your DAGs um, that you have already built. What I'm gonna show you is how to take all of these DAGs and migrate them into Dagster. And you'll see that you don't need to set up any Im infrastructure and you'll be able to run and test this locally in very simply. So this example is actually available on GitHub and you'll be able to follow along as well as use this to, as a template to replace your own DAGs in here. So what I have here is a bunch of different folders. I'll start off by showing you a bunch of the different DAGs. Um, I'm going to show you this tutorial DAG. So this should look like standard Airflow code. And what we'll be doing is take this Airflow DAG and turning it into a Dagster job very simply. So you won't need to change any of this code. What we'll be doing is actually wrapping Dagster around this and you'll see that there's no code changes and no infrastructure set up to both edit and run this locally as well as on the Dagster cloud. Next, let's take a look at the tool that's making this happen. So I have this Dagster migration folder over here as well as its definitions file. So we'll be using a library called Dagster Airflow, which takes all of this Airflow DAG code and is actually going to not change that code a bit. You don't need to write any Dagster code as well. And what this is going to do is create the definitions path from those DAGs um, in one or two different commands. Now that we peek behind the scenes to see the different Airflow DAGs, as well as the tool, which is Dagster Airflow, which is going to make this happen, let's open up the readme file and let's see how to run this locally. Um, what I have here is two different commands that we're going to run. The first is going to install both Air Dagster Airflow, all the different dependencies, as well as this Dagster migration file. And the second is Dagster Dev, which launches the UI. So let's get started and execute these two commands. And that's it. So here we have all our different Airflow DAGs, which have now been converted to Dagster jobs, all ready for us. We'll be able to run this, have all our schedules working, running it locally, making changes. And this is really the first step in migrating to Dagster because now you have all of your existing ETL processes, whatever workflows you had um, up and running. And now you could transition over to things like Dagster assets, which Tim will be demoing in the next video um, very slowly with everything working and your core business operations untouched. So let's go into this Airflow tutorial. So you'll see that Airflow has been appended to each of these DAGs, just so we know what's been migrated and what hasn't been. You'll see the different Airflow tasks, which have now been converted to Dagster jobs. And let's see how this works. So let's run it. So right now we're running all of these Airflow DAGs locally with a couple easy commands got us here. So you'll be able to really test this out on your Airflow DAGs yourself. And we do recommend that you start off locally before going into cloud, just to make sure everything's working. Um, and that's it. Everything has now been migrated to Dagster Jobs and we're executing this locally. Now that we saw how to run this locally on Dagster, let me show you how to run this on Dagster Cloud. So this is our serverless option. We also have hybrid, so you'll be able to use your own infrastructure. But our Dagster Cloud Serverless option requires zero infrastructure setup on your end. And what I'm going to do is actually just run these couple commands and you'll be able to see that everything is pushed to Dagster Cloud and you'll be able to run all of the different Airflow jobs there. So here I have my Dagster Cloud. And you'll see that we have different code locations, which will enable your teams to really collaborate here. So no longer do you need to have one person editing code on their end and not 
uh, able to look and see what else is going on in the rest of the organization. Here you could have all your different code locations, which could correspond to different projects that are work being worked on. And you really could have that strong collaboration between all of your data team, as well as your analytics machine learning teams as well. So here we also have our Dagster migration folder. You'll see all of the different Airflow um, jobs, Airflow DAGs that have been converted to jobs here. And um, you'll be able to run this as well. Okay, so now that we've been able to run all of our different Airflow DAGs on Dagster locally, as well as on the Dagster cloud with our serverless option, um, you should be able to spin down all of that complicated Airflow infrastructure that you have had run running for the past couple years. So the last thing I'm going to show you today is how to unit test your code. So in Airflow, you might have been pushing changes to production with maybe low to no confidence of how it will actually work. Um, not a lot of testing to make sure that everything was working fine with your data um, to make sure that your production instance is intact. So what I'm going to show you right now is how to do a couple unit tests. Um, and these are going to show you how to execute the jobs as well as to make sure all the different outcomes are as expected. And you'll be able to do this for your Airflow DAG side effects. So if you have any side effects that are being created as part of your existing Airflow DAGs, you'll be able to test that. And once you get into Dagster and the different assets, you'll be able to even run more robust tests on what you're expecting as part of your data pipeline or machine learning pipeline. So you'll really have confidence that you could unit test every little piece of your pipeline before moving to production. And when you go to production, you'll see that you have tested it and there should be no issues there. So here I have a bunch of different code. Um, you'll see that we're testing to make sure that everything was successful. Um, we have the different um, package in here, which is Dagster Airflow, which loads in all of our different DAGs as definitions. And what I'm going to do is actually run this to see that everything was executed successfully. Okay, now everything has been passed. We can see that our test passed here. And I'm really excited for you to hear Tim in the next session on how to turn all of these Dagster jobs into Dagster software-defined assets, which will really unlock the power of Dagster for you.